All right, silver tubers, we are going to try the duck again. Whack, whack for duck's butt. I modified my homemade sand casting box to create a flask effect. So I'm pouring down in this tiny little hole. So I'm going to have to be super steady with this. Or this could turn out with a lot of wood on fire. And we may turn out with a lot of wood on fire anyway. So, I've got the cast, I've got the duck nose down inside. So, wish me luck. I have no earthly idea. I'm too cheap to, to, to pay the, the $55 for the, for the flask. So, I'm trying it out of wood. And I'm afraid this is all going to catch fire when that silver pours into that hole. But... You know what? It's all a learning experience, so here we go. I've got more than enough silver, which means I'll probably catch fire just by the overpour. But here we go. Well, we don't have much fire. Got a little bit, it's burning around the lip. I have no idea what this thing is gonna turn out like. I need to just ante up and buy the flask, but like I said, I'm so cheap. Let's see if that snuffs out the flame. Nope, comes back. Just when they, just when you think you're out, they pull you right back in. And that was all of the silver from the original cast, plus a couple of ounces. So this is going to have kind of a larger sprue, and the sp the pour point was the back of the duck instead of uh, instead of the underside or the side of the duck. So. Let's see how this thing came out. I'm a little bit curious if this gravity feed helped at all. It may have, it may not have. She's still smoking. I've been watching a lot of a lot of videos on sand casting and Petrobond and Delph clay and all that rigmarole. For those of you new to the saga of the duck pour, here is the duck that I'm trying to pour. And it's a booger. It's got little lines and ridges and stuff. Now we got a pretty good uh, pretty good smoke fest going here. It's like we're cooking some ribs. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to hopefully, the problems I've had in the past will be alle alleviated. If not, I'm just going to have to suck it up and buy the, uh, buy the flask because nothing I've tried so far has gotten the pour that I would be happy with. So let's, uh, let's have a look here. Well, one side looks okay. I don't know what the other side's going to look like. So, golly. I set up a smoke alarm. Let's get this thing out of here and we'll quench it. Oh yeah. We all love it. Who doesn't love a good quench? So I'm going to go rinse it off. I'm going to pause the video. Whoa, dropped it back in the water. I'm going to uh, go rinse it off in the sink. And uh, I'll be right back. We'll see what she looks like. Well, those of you that know me know that I'm not a fan of, of Dremel work or file work on my silver. But I think at this point, 
that's about as good as it's going to get and I'm going to have to take the Dremel to it. I didn't get any air pockets in it this time. It's got a little bit of pitting, but I think if I clean up that seam, clean up behind the neck a little bit, clean up under here, and clean up where I nipped the sprue off, tumble it up, I think we might have actually gotten the duck. I even got some eyes. Little eye there, little eye there. We'll have to wait and see. Get the get the uh, the jeweler saw and cut off the the uh, little bit right here and cut off the little bit right here. And luckily on this side I have a a template for how much to cut off, and then do a little bit of sanding. And I think I might have finally gotten duck's butt's duck. So stay tuned for the next duck's butt episode appreciate everybody watching mr zeke real quick from the pouring bench casting the elusive duck cheers everybody